Mic check, mic check. But, alright guys, so I'm gonna try to make this introduction super quick. So today, um, we're here in Houston, Texas, as you guys can see, I got Carlos right here. You got anything to say, Carlos? I uh, feeling good, feeling warmed up, hips are nice and loose. Yeah, it feels really good right now, like it's like super sweaty, super warm, but it's not like killer. You know, so I'm not on program today. Pablo's working up to something heavy. Spencer's got RP7. Carlos is just gonna work to whatever we tell him to. But I mean, we're gonna try to keep this super short. Um, maybe get some audio clips from some bites from Russ. We got Cam in the building. We have a uh, baby Ray Hulk Thomas in the building. Uh, we got big body, you know, a lot of flex in here. And that's what we like. And then I got, I got a mystery Pokemon behind me. Yeah, man. So it's just great, man. Like being a coach and like just having your guys try, like just, that's the wonderful thing about powerlifting. It's like, when you've been doing it long enough, like a lot of people know you enough and you can just travel and do things and you just get to run into your, your athletes or your friends and it's just, it's a great feeling. But, all right, that's enough of the introduction. We're going to get to lifting. Carl's warming up right now. I think it's going to be four or five of us in the same rack. And we're just going to get things rolling, baby. Let's get it. Mwah. I'm 
followers. I got a Glock with a shot that can stop a truck. I get the money and we like it. I be you know, hell, I'm gonna give all the choppers. A team full of players, ain't nobody oh. stopping us. Hey. We got it Cause this is a 45 pound bar. But uh, if you guys have liked this video so far, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And um, man, personally, I've been like feeling quite a bit of stuff mentally these past couple, maybe since like the last upload. But you know what? Through Christ Jesus, my Lord and Savior, I mean, I'm able to accomplish anything. So remember, guys, don't allow the devil to defeat you. Don't allow the devil to steal, kill, and destroy your peace, your joy, your love, your happiness, and your freedom. I think it's important that you uh, acknowledge what you're going through, you pray about it, and you, you consistently ask God to, to give you that uh, direction and to to clear your path away from uh, any negativity, any sort of uh, you know anything that's willing to go against what you want to uh, that you want to accomplish. So uh, this may be my last set, or we got one more. I'm pretty sure it's gonna move easy though. This is Rascal too, ain't it? Yeah. I don't know what kind of, I don't know what shirt this is, but this is the Rascal Apparel shirt. It's the Mexican shirt. It's the Mexican shirt. But Code Pops, Code Omega. Uh, I believe that we're gonna fit up. Hold on. I believe with a uh, partnership between us, Omar, I think we're really gonna make something happen with this company and for the growth. Uh, you know, Omar's a cool cat. That man is Mr. What? Omar's Omar is mega hunk, bro. Omar Esau is the original hunk. So make sure you guys go follow him on Instagram and on YouTube, because the man said it so. He is back. And man, we had the opportunity to hang out with them last month at Austin, and man, it's a it's a blessing, and we're forever grateful. So. If you want to get some merch, they got cool graphic design, uh, cool tees. They also got jorts 
And they also got bodybuilding shorts. You can't see them, but I'm wearing them right now. My favorite shorts so far. So go ahead and use code POBS, code MEGA, if you want to support us and support the brand. Today's topic video, obviously Worlds just happened, and if you should never had a recap, did you recap your Worlds yet? Here, take the mic from me. Introducing three-time world champion, Mega Dot Gojira. All right, guys, so I haven't really had the opportunity yet to recap my world, but I've spoken about it on multiple platforms. Uh, I did a post-conference meeting with PA, Policy America, and then just here and there, you know, but let's try to keep this short and sweet, all right? So I went five for eight, scratched my third squat, I went one for three on bench. I hit the rack on my first one. They called me for downward motion. But it was really just the rack, you know? Uh, I went back and retook 550 on my second, smoked it. And then on my third, we jumped 17 and a half kilos to hit 589. So a 38 pound jump, right? And it didn't feel heavy out of the rack. It's just once I sunk it, I don't know, man, I just kind of fell off last Sunday, two Sundays ago, because it's just like, I misgrew the hell out of it. I like kind of just sunk it deeper than I would have liked, and then whenever my elbows were carrying it, so when you're benching with the sink, or in general, you want to hit like a J-curve, it's like, like this, right? It's like a J-curve. But on my bench, it went almost diagonally like this, like, like that. And I just lost the stack, I lost control of it, and that was it, you know, didn't get my third bench, which this is kind of surprising because I was talking to Coach Mike, this is the first time I'd ever missed any bench attempts in any of my competitions. And I think this is my ninth competition in four years, three years, I don't know, this is my ninth competition. Um, so, not too bad, and then with deadlifts, I started to come alive, I started to feel some of that riz flowing through, baby, you guys know what I'm talking about. Smoked my opener, smoked my second, and at the time, you know, I think some of the guys were trying to go for big thirds, and I wanted to show everybody who Top Dog was, you know? So, we loaded 14.5, like, just to chip the record, you know, give the crowd, the audience a show, right? Because when you get to my level, there is people buy into powerlifting to spectate because of the showmanship. People love watching big weights, zooming. So, got it up to my legs, but I just mentally felt like I couldn't have locked out my shoulders. So I gave up on the lift, but after reviewing video, if I would have just held on to it for a little longer and just kept fighting, I might have got the lift. But either way, not tripping about it. We'll save that chip for Sheffield. <coughs> And that, that was pretty much it, you know. Me and Pablo kind of had uh, several conversations going into Worlds. And the, com the nature of the conversation was, what is the goal for Worlds, right? And I did myself a favor after Sheffield took a good, long, mental, physical break that I needed. Because I know that to repeat as Sheffield champion, it's going to take an even greater effort to succeed, right? Having an entirely new lifting cast for the men's side. We got Anatoly joining the fray, and everybody knows what that man can do. You know, he's the best 105 in the world at the moment, in my opinion. Um, and I really believe he can increase the record by at a minimum of three point something percent right now. So that's kind of what I'm having to deal with. And it's a little exciting because my goal for this meet was just to break the wrapped um, total record. But now, with Anatoly into the mix, I might have to go even further, which is honestly exciting. Like, as an athlete, you always want to have these situations where your character is tested, your resolve is tested, um, all these good things, you know, that make you who you are as an individual. So I'm excited on that part. But anyways, back to the conversations me and Pablo have. You know, it was just... The primary goal was to secure the third championship, walk out healthy, and have fun. 
you know, because I really wasn't training hard going to Worlds. I really wasn't stringing together like amazing sessions like I was for Sheffield. I really just showed up and did what I could. That's point and simple. You know, like that's no disrespect to my competitors, but I won by <laughs> 90 plus kilos. But anyways, I think that's a pretty good short recap. You know, like now we go on to number four and we got Sheffield on the horizon. So I think next year's gonna be a big one. But anyways, guys, I think that would be good for the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you want to see next. Uh, we have baby brother here this week. So uh, we appreciate you guys watching our videos. Uh, it means a lot to us. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.